Hi folks, this is Dan Perez out of Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. Um, just following up, I made a little bit more progress. Got my uh, encoder wired up. So this encoder is built into the bearing on the top of my motor. And it gives me 80 pulses per revolution. And it basically runs off 5 volt line coming off the controller. It's three wires. <clears throat> um, also got me some nice beefy cable, um, which was also free. Kind of a rescue from uh, the scrap bin. Um, I did buy me some cheap uh, battery cables though. They were like four bucks at Walmart, or maybe maybe five bucks. But you know they were cheap. And so now I don't have to worry about the cables warming up like they were doing before. Still using the same 80 amp fuse block. Um, uh, of course, I'm only using that fuse block for testing. Um, I have the uh, I have the uh, inverter speed limited right now um, with a parameter called F max, which is maximum frequency. Um, and the only reason I did that is because uh, this motor would just try to ramp up to some ridiculous speed uh, now that it's got the encoder connected to it. Uh, now, it, because it has the encoder connected to it, it, it can now utilize, you know, torque mode. And so when you, when you command the motor to start spinning up, it's going to, it's going to fly. Uh, so much so that it, it will it will pop an EDM fuse with <laughs> with no hesitation. So I got it uh, dialed back a little bit. Uh, actually, I got it dialed back a lot uh, just to you know keep my fuse from popping every five minutes. And um, even even with that even with that parameter dialed back, uh, the motor will uh, come up to speed or come up to that ceiling very quickly, which was. Uh, kind of impressive um, so that's what it, that's what I'm talking about today I'm just going to uh, if I can move this uh, scope back a little bit <coughs> and, uh, I don't know if we can see that bearing but uh, we'll get that puppy going so that right there is probably about 800 RPM. I can come out here and I can do a get speed. So, <clears throat> just notice that uh, the RPM kind of cycles up and down, up and down, and it's because it's hitting that limit and the controller is uh, just trying to regulate it. I'm still working. I'm still working with uh, Johannes Hubner to see um, what parameters I need to dial in to get that uh, that speed control a little tighter. Uh, but one of the issues is that uh, this armature has a lot of mass, and it also has no load on it. So you know, I don't really know uh, if we're going to really get that speed like a uh, servo tight, if you would. Anyway, that's where I'm at. Um, that was uh, the waveforms of the last run. Still don't know if those waveforms have any good or bad information in them, but they're just there. Um, anybody have any comments, questions, feel free to post them. Thanks, bye.